What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. I made a promise that I will make like a a video to help you guys make your transition from console to PC a little easier. I didn't start out like this, right? I didn't start out like this. I didn't I doing all that. This was the hardest part to me. A lot of people make it's different. This was the hardest part to me. It's different for all kinds of people. This is the Def Adder mouse. This is my go-to mouse right now. I just think it's a big size and it fits my hand perfectly, like correctly. The best out of every mouse that I uh, ever use. Uh, I just ordered the G502 Mega or something like that. I don't know the name. I forgot the name of it, but I just ordered the G502 said you could shape it to your hand but you're gonna need a mouse that's that fits your hand your grip will come naturally like i use i guess this is a palm grip so it's like palm grip uh this this is claw grip and this is fingertip grip like this I don't know who what what the fuck is that? I don't know who would you fingertip grip. That's weird to me. Like claw maybe and palm seem palm just seems natural. This is what most people use. Like you see like shroud and like all them good players they use like a uh, uh, palm grip. So palm grip is just natural. It's just like if you're just on your Dell computer going to like porn hub and stuff like that you're just using palm grip so you could palm grip wow damn that was a bad joke but um mice all right mice these are the these are three mice that i recommend getting this is the the razor def adder chroma this is the zowie fk1 plus they have all kind of FK1s. They got like a small ass FK1 for small hands. And Zowie is a good mouse. And this is uh, the Logitech G303. This is discontinued, but you still can buy it like on eBay and stuff like that. It's very small. If you look at it, look, look on the top left camera. Look at my hand. This is not a comfortable gaming experience for me. It's too small, but I played a couple games. I'll like show y'all clips or I'm like in future commentaries, I'll mention what mouse I was using and stuff like that. I played games with it. I, I have strong games, but I can't play for a long time. You know, my streams be like two hours, three hours. My hand is fatigued by the time I hit three hours playing with this thing. This is the K70 um, keyboard. Very good keyboard. It's, if you go like this, if you, yeah, yeah, just touch it a little bit, the button works. It's, it's super sensitive. I'm a, I advise you to get a mechanical keyboard. Most of them, you know, keyboards, a lot of them, you know, do the same thing, but this keyboard is very good, but this is not how I started, right? I didn't start learning the keyboard until later. I learned the, the mouse first, right? I used this thing right here. It's called the, I think it's the Logitech G13. Why didn't I just read the bag? Like, I'm, I'm so I'm asshole. It's the Logitech G13, right? It has a thumbstick. I don't, damn. All right, y'all could probably see it on top left. It has a little thumbstick. This is how I was controlling my character. Then it has a button here, a button here, calling my streaks and stuff like that. I would, uh, I would hit jump. I, this would be like jump, melee. It, it. It just was like, it was like jump, crouch. Like it just, this was moving and then I had like buttons. I can't remember what buttons it was. They were, but 
these were like my crouch and knife and switch weapons and stuff like that while I was playing around with a, uh, a mouse. And then once I got everything down packed, right? Once I got everything down packed, I said, all right, let me make that transition to using the keyboard full time. Since I got my aim and everything right, I got my transition from using the keys full time. And I got better at better. What the fuck? Okay. I got better at um, using the keyboard as I went on. You know, this is like second nature, like jump button. This is. Fuck. I keep I keep switching up. Damn. <sighs> w. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but W. 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 S. W. A. S. D. Is the primary moving uh, buttons like walk forward, go backwards is S. A is left. D is right. Space bar is jump, right? F is use to like open doors and stuff like that. E and Q are the lean buttons. In Call of Duty, I don't use lean at all, so Q is my stun grenades. But in other games, Q is my left lean, like Daisy, Tarkov, and stuff like that. And E is my right lean. E in Call of Duty is my melee. V is my melee in other games. Like when, once you start playing the other games, you you'll remember. V in Call of Duty is my kill streaks. So you can also you can map your buttons however you want. You know, if you're left-handed, you can use P. Uh, I don't know the O. I mean, not not P. O. No P L, and these two. These buttons, P, L, and these two buttons, if you're left-handed. And then you hold the mouse on this side and, and you just make the keyboard the, basically the other way around instead of W, A, S, D. Um, the most important part, right? The most important part, in my opinion, is having a chair and a desk that that's the right level like my chair either I'm too low and if I go all the way up I'm too fucking high fucking elbow ash look at that fucking elbow ash yeah, that's fucking elbow see when you black this would be fucking happening fucking ash has elbows in the video but um either I'm too high or too low and then when I put it in the center, I know a lot of people who have this problem also. When I put it in the center, it slowly goes down. So a, a desk and a chair is very important. It's very important to me. And the way you hold the mouse, right? A lot of people, um, when you start out PC gaming, you 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 hold the mouse like like right here and and this is called wrist, wrist control. And this is called arm control. Syrian is a, is a fucking great fucking Call of Duty player. He uses wrist control. When you use wrist control, you gotta have high ass sensitivity. That's why when you see Syrian play, he, he's just spinning around and fucking doing everything and just wrecking people. And when you see like Shroud uses arm control and he uses a way lower sensitivity, but you see him moving around fast because he's using arm control and, and you can, you got way more, you got way more room. You got like way more room to maneuver with arm control like this you just got this so that's why you need your sensitivity way higher you need a mouse bungee so the mouse cord doesn't be all over the all in your way and 
sensitivity. I'll go more in depth in the next video about mouse sensitivities. All right. So this is how I began. This is how I learned how to use mouse and keyboard. I used this thing. This was my guide. This was controlling my character, right? Jumping. This was jump and I can't remember what the other buttons were, but I got good at that. And then I was like, all right, let me, um, let me move on. Like it's, it's just so much. It's unlimited things you can do if you just use a whole the whole keyboard. It's just so many buttons that I can access. So thanks for watching. Next video, I will talk about mouse sensitivities and in-game sensitivity. I'm out, y'all. Peace.